Hello everybody and welcome to the second settlement tour. This time we are going to look at my settlement build in Sunshine Tidings Co-op. It's a smaller settlement than the others. We've got our Minuteman flag at the front. We've got a full fence around the perimeter except for the back. So this is our, our fence all around because we've got a lot of raiders around here. And our Sunshine Tidings Co-op sign from the shed up so people when they walk up the path they they're greeted by this gate and it's, it's sometimes shut I usually keep it open because of the traders come in and out but during an attack we keep this one closed so it's an automatic gate that can be closed so as I said it is a smaller settlement we've got about 15 people here at the moment and what we'll do is we'll go around clockwise I think is that clockwise? Yes, I think it is. So yes, this is Sunshine Tidings Co-op. All of the houses here are through Snappy Builds. Snappy Builds, yes. They are prefab houses, so I didn't actually build them from scratch. I used the prefab houses and just kind of built onto them. So I've kept the, the main shed in the middle. I've kept this smaller shed in here, I've put a little bath in here and we've got a power armor station in here obviously and I've kept the the shed, I've redone the shed over here but we'll go over there later. We might start with, let's start in the middle. So we, here we've got where our workbench is and we've got you know some Minutemen flags and everything. This is basically how, oh hello. There's a Brahmin. <laughs> this is basically where all of our workers can come to, you know, take a load off on our on the one communal chair that we've got in here. We've got the terminal that's in here. When we find the place, and we've got our work population management thing here. But yeah, it's just you know they can get themselves a coffee while they're on break from farming. And we've got, so in total, we have got one, two, how many? One, two, three, four, five houses in this settlement. So we'll have a look at this first house. It's a nice green and red house. And we've got our trading post over here, as always. We do have a Stick Brahmin trading. You got a um, chance of surviving. Mm -hmm. We do have a Bra uh, Brahmin feeding trough here, but we don't really, we haven't really had anybody bring any Brahmin in for that. But this is our first house here. Again, I've I've done the same thing with the lamp posts that I did at Sanctuary. One is outside every, well, not every house, I don't think, but uh, most of the houses. So we'll go inside. Here is our first house. It's nicely, just a very rustic feel, unlike the houses in Sanctuary, I kind of had a more worn kind of feel, like it's a more of a country house type thing. We've got some nice potted plants and a nice place to sit in the afternoon. We've got a nice lounge area where they can listen to the radio with nice bay windows upstairs. We've got our kitchen and I've used, I kind of um, mix and match with the with the pre-war kitchens so they're not as you know big as the other ones we've got some shelving here with food dining table kitchen you know working stove so people can come in and and cook things on the stove we've got our bedroom in here just very simple nothing too too fancy in here and then upstairs we do have like an attic room so I thought this would be a bit neat you know for a kid or something not that we don't we don't really have kids in the settlement yet but you know we've got some fairy lights and a bookshelf and a small bed I don't know I honestly don't know if this um, is included in the beds that are under shelter I have no idea but we have that we just have that single bed I thought that would be pretty neat if there's like a small family living here so that's the first house and then we go past the trading post with our friendly Brahmin. I think we've got uh, Trash Can Kala and we've got some the caravan guards and there's always, there's always something that, someone at this trading post. Here we have our general store and our medical clinic. 
So I don't know why this guy is wearing a Slocum's Joe t-shirt instead of a, a doctor's lab coat, but he seems very Fixing comfortable. Up. Let's get a look at you. Uh, I'm okay, thank you. I'm doing a tour, so I'll, I'll come back later. So that's our doctor there. He's just got a small clinic where he sells, you know, fixes you up and sells medicines and things. Got some clothes on sale, we've got some meat, some general wares here. You know, stocks just various things. Here is our general store person. A dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. I'm not. And so yeah, this is just a very simple kind of general store because it's just a small area. This is our second house here. We've got a nice dining area, bay window. It doesn't really overlook anything though. It's just kind of there's like silos over here, so that doesn't. It's not a pretty view. I'm just going to shut this door. And then we've got our lounge area where you can just sit and enjoy the evening. We've got a kitchen, a nice pantry shelf. All of the houses are pretty, like, I've made them a little bit different. So it feels like somebody different owns each house. We've got two double beds in here. Yeah, just some plants and stuff just to make it look nice. Just very simple, nothing too fancy. So that's our second house and here we have our crops. We've got some fertilizer here. We've got everybody working on the on the crops here to sell, I assume in the general market or to the traders and things. So that's our that's our main source of um, income and food. Then we've got what I thought was a big house up here, but it's really not a big house. It's it's it looks big from the outside, but it's it's one of the smaller houses. I think we've got a nice little seagull bird here. And you know, we've got benches to sit on so we can overlook look at that view. We can oversee the entire settlement from here. Hello friend. And uh, yeah, we've got some nice trees. No, I'm not. It's okay. I might send Paladin Dance here though. That'll make you happy. Yeah, we've got some nice trees, so it looks quite, you know, it's a good view. It looks quite nice. Excuse me, lady. Sorry. And we've got a, a nice chair here again. Again, in here, we've got just a very simple kitchen, uh, some pantry items, a fridge. We've got a nice little table for two with some funky chairs. They look quite nice. A nicer view in this one. You can see some some trees and things and then we can go upstairs and we've got a nice bed. I think this is like based off the the, the main character's beds in the start. And we've got a nice little seating area here if they just want to have a little, a little relax and read some books and stuff in the after work. So over here, this is where the fence stop, stops over here. It's because of the height, because we've got this big hill here, but we have extra security up here. We've got a, a guard post here with nobody on it. <laughs> we've also got a guard post over there. You can see the guard there. We've got some, some extra turrets because we've got like raiders like right over there and they do come over pretty often at the moment. So we've got some good security there. But that's there and then we have so if we go around we go up here we go around this house the patio area we've got this other house so this is the uh what is it like the fourth house in the settlement again quite nice i quite like all of the houses because they're quite they're all different and and have a charm in their own way. I've got some hanging plants and some plants outside. Here's a little seating area. I haven't put any TVs in this settlement, mostly because I like the idea of it's kind of in a quieter, like more rustic neighborhood and that, you know, they listen to the radio and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, we have some nice, a table setting and a nice kitchen here. Again, very simple. We've got pantry items and things, nice paintings on the wall. 
or pictures or whatever. Upstairs it's split living again. We've got a bed here. Some nice furniture. Picture of a kitty cat. So that's nice. And then we've got a desk without a chair because I keep doing that for some reason. And we've got another, another bedroom in here. Again, nice little view. Nice view from out the window. I like, I quite like these houses actually. They're quite nice. But yeah, that's house number four. So if we go back downstairs. And we go down here. This is our our second like plot of land where everybody's farming and everything. I've got a, a funky looking scarecrow and everything. And uh, another wheelbarrow full of fruit and vegetables. And here is our fertilizer pile. And we've got a garden station here with a lot of it's, it gradually stores up the the veg that you harvest or well the settlers harvest and it gradually builds up this. So I've got one in Sanctuary, got one here. I'm pretty sure I've got one in Abernathy Farm as well. So it just, it helps me to, so I don't have to keep harvesting the food when I come here. And here is our last residential house. And again, just very simple. We've got bookshelf. We've got a nice kitchen area. Nice, very similar to the other house, really. And we go upstairs, and we've got you know nice bedding, a nice another single bed for a kid or somebody. And then yeah, just very simple. Some plants and things because they're outside all day working on the on the in the fields. So, so they can eke out a living in the waste And then over here, we have a Slocum's Joe <laughs> for, you know, for them to enjoy their off time in the, in the evenings when they're not working. So we've got somebody here. Yeah, remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Uh-huh. Who is serving some delicious tea and coffee and donuts and other pastries and We've got, you know, a menu board and everything, so we can come in here and, and you know, order our coffee. If you ain't been up things. to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. Yes, I know. And then we've got the pool table and a, and a jukebox and everything. And we can, we can, you know, fry donuts and stuff if we want to. But yeah, it's just a nice little area. She's supposed to be wearing the uniform. That other guy isn't. And then we've just got, you know, some tables and chairs. Got our bar over here, and we've got our huh? um, food and drink cart here. So yeah, people hear about can come here <laughs> in their off hours. Now out the back, I actually because there's a bit of bit of water out the back. Sorry, I couldn't figure out the word water. But we've got another gate that usually stays closed because there's not a lot of traders that come through here. But we've got down here. So we've expanded down here and we've got a lot of just fishery stuff. We've got some benches here that people, I have noticed that the settlers come down here after after their work hours and kind of have a little relax and, you know, just look out on the water. So that would be nice. And then we've got some fish and some other things. We've got a tannery rack and we can salt, salt the skin. I don't know how to, there we go. You can salt the skin on the tannery rack, which is very exciting. I don't know why he's sitting. He's okay. He's on the wrong side. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. I didn't know that did that. I've never actually tried that before. Oh my god, I can't. Where am I going? Hang on. I'm gonna get out of this water. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll continue the tour. So yeah, I've got fish gutting and I've got fish scaling. So they all come down here and do a bit of uh, fish gutting and scaling and hang out, hang out on the pier. It's it's quite the hot spot down here. I might have to put some like lights up and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's that area. We've got a nice. All the trees make it look real nice. Actually, it's pretty. It's pretty neat. 
crops coming in pretty good. That's oh, some random lady. So we've got the fr fence all around, all around except when it gets a bit higher up here. And then we've got another guard post up here again. I don't know where the guard is, but yeah, we get some people spawn this way as well. I think we've got had some gunners and stuff that spawn out here. That's quite a nice area. So, but yeah, that is short and sweet. That is the Sunshine Tidings Co-op settlement. We've got, oh, this is our tractor too. It doesn't work, but it's here for the, for the ambience of the place. <laughs> But yes, that is Sunshine Tidings Co-op, short and sweet, uh, a nice little settlement. Everybody is pretty happy here. I think I've gotten to about 90% happiness so far. I'm still working on, you know, boistering that up. I was going to put some robots in here, but I think their happiness actually, they actually drag the happiness down a little bit because they only sit at like 50% 50, 50 happiness. So it, it drags the average down. So I don't know. I might do. I might I might put some more robots in here. We will never know. But yes, that was Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back with more settlement tours as I progress and build up more settlements. And I hope you enjoyed that. And you have a pleasant day. And I will see you again somewhere else in the wasteland. Goodbye.